Hello, this is Kankakee County Under Sheriff Mike Downey. We thank you for taking the time to look at our fugitives this week and for assisting us in maintaining the success of our Warrant Wednesday posts. Remember, any of these individuals could potentially be armed and dangerous. Please do not attempt to detain or apprehend these individuals, but rather contact your local law enforcement agency or Crime Stoppers. If you know the whereabouts of any of our fugitives, we encourage you to call Crime Stoppers at 815-93-CRIME. That's 815-933-7463. The purpose of our Warrant Wednesday initiative is to decrease the number of outstanding warrants in Kankakee County. Whether it is by encouraging the public to assist police by providing the whereabouts of a fugitive or for the subject with a warrant to clear up the warrant themselves, we feel as though a served or quashed warrant in turn equals success. As of today, we have posted 64 fugitives over the past 16 weeks and have apprehended 30 individuals. That is a 47% success rate in the capture of those who would otherwise still be clogging up an already overburdened courtroom docket. This success rate would certainly not be as high if it wasn't for you, the community, who provide the Kankakee County Sheriff's Office with much needed assistance in the apprehension of these individuals. This success rate also does not take into account those who have turned themselves in to avoid an appearance on Warrant Wednesday. Please remember that having a warrant quashed does not necessarily mean that the original charges have been dropped by the state. Oftentimes a fugitive has simply turned himself or herself into the court, usually through their attorney, and requested a future court date. In these instances, we feel as if the Warrant Wednesday post was successful by requiring the fugitive to take some action instead of fleeing from their court date. Again, please understand the subjects posted on our Warrant Wednesday have court-ordered warrants for their arrests, most of which have resulted in their failure to appear for a court date. Regardless of the severity of the charge, felony, misdemeanor, or traffic, these fugitives have made a conscious decision to elude the judicial process by fleeing from the courts, regardless of their innocence or guilt in the initial charges. This in turn causes the use of additional resources such as police, corrections, state's attorney, public defender, and circuit clerk each time an individual fails to appear in court. These resources can be better spent by all the previous named agencies focusing on the prevention of crime in our community. Lastly, we once again want to thank you for taking time to view our posts and to assist us in spreading the word by sharing our posts and calling in tips to law enforcement regarding the whereabouts of our fugitives. The Warrant Wednesday initiative is undoubtedly successful as a result of your participation. 56-year-old Lonnie Allen Ferguson is a white male that stands six foot tall and weighs approximately 210 pounds. Ferguson, who resides in the 300 block of Hillcrest Avenue in Kankakee, is wanted on a $40,000 bond warrant for retail theft. He was last known to drive a 1997 white-colored Chevy Monte Carlo. 24-year-old Cameron J. Bostic is a black male that is approximately 5 foot 7 inches and weighs around 140 pounds. Cameron is known to reside in the 300 block of South Chicago Avenue in Kankakee or in the 200 block of Cranbrook. He has a tattoo of CAM, K-A-M in all caps, on his neck. Bostic has a $10,000 bond warrant for domestic battery causing bodily harm. 21-year-old Chelsea M. Brucker is a white female that is 5 foot 7 inches tall and weighs 140 pounds. She was last known to reside in the 1500 block of Wingo Lane in the apartments behind the Northfield Square Mall, but has been known to live in the Clifton area and frequent the TriStar Estates Mobile Park. She has the words Tone Tone tattooed on her neck. Brucker has a $2,000 bond warrant for possession of drug paraphernalia. 21-year-old Shay A. Erickson is a white male and is 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighs approximately 130 pounds. Erickson was last known to reside in the 1300 block of Lemna Avenue in Bradley, behind the Northfield Square Mall, or in the 300 block of Roy Street in Bourbon A. He is wanted on a no-bond felony warrant for burglary and the unlawful possession of a controlled substance. He was last known to drive a 2005 green-colored Ford Escape and has tattoos on his right foot, the words death is certain, life is not on his chest, and the numbers 197 on his right wrist.